Welcome back to Rich Wedge Music, where today we're doing a comparison between these two Ibanez guitars. Now here in my left hand we have the GRG121SP from the GEO series, and here in my right hand we have my trusty AS73FM Artcore guitar. Now you might look at these two and think, Rich, you've taken leave of your senses. Why would anyone want to compare these two guitars? This is clearly a jazz box, or for blues, or classic rock, or rock and roll sort of players, while this is clearly a 24 fret deep double cutaway shredder and hard rock player's dream. And you're probably right, but you've also probably read the title of this video and so you know that these two guitars have exactly the same pickups in them. That's right, they feature Ibanez's own classic elite humbuckers, and that surprised me very much to learn. Now, I've had this guitar, the AS73FM, for three or four years, and when I first did a video on it back in the day, and you can watch that later if you'd fancy it, I remember saying that I found the pickups to be the weak point in the guitar because they were really good for everything, but they didn't excel at one single thing. Since then I've played the guitar extensively and the pickups are still in the guitar and that's because, well, they are really good for everything. They might not be the world's best sounding pickup for one single style, but they do pretty much everything very, very well indeed. And this is an extremely versatile guitar. So imagine my surprise when the GRG121SP from the GEO series came in a few weeks ago to Rich Word Music Towers and it had the same pickups. And just looking at these two guitars, you would never imagine that Ibanez would have put the same humbucking pickups into these two instruments, which are quite clearly designed and marketed towards different styles of guitar players. So how similar are these two guitars going to sound? How different are they going to sound? We know that pickups are an extremely important part of how a guitar sounds, but there are many other specification differences too in this case. I mean, just look at this one here. The AS73FM has a linden body with a flamed maple top. It has a Nyoto neck and an Indian laurel fingerboard with a 24.5 seven inch scale length. So it's a very, very traditional sort of a guitar in that way. And the GRG121SP is very different. This guitar has a poplar body. It has a roasted maple neck with a Jatoba fingerboard and a 25 and a half inch scale length, also 24 frets. And those two frets, of course, are gonna make all the difference. But seriously, these two guitars couldn't be more different, or could they? That's what we're going to find out now, because I'm gonna play them in as many different styles as possible. And we'll hear how similar and how different they sound. So I'll be using my Hughes and Kettner Black Spirit 200 amp for today's playing demo. We'll start on the amp's clean channel and play some folky stuff, some poppy stuff, and some blues for this one. We'll then use the crunch channel on the amp to do some classic rock and some indie rock. Then we'll head to the lead channel and do some harder rock and some punk rock. And at the end, it's back to the clean channel. We'll tune both guitars down to drop D. I shall switch on my Rev G3 distortion pedal. And we'll see if the AS73 and the GRG121SP chug. And if they do chug, do they sound the same while doing it? I think it's going to be a very, very interesting comparison, and I myself am very much looking forward to hearing the similarities and the differences between the two tones. Now, just a couple more things to mention before we get started. Both of these guitars have the same 10 gauge strings fitted. They both have volume and tone controls that measure 500K in terms of resistance. As I've said, the scale length is different on both guitars. And the one other thing to look out for is that the AS73FM has a three-way selector switch. So you've got your traditional neck pickup, bridge pickup, and both pickups on together, while the GRG121SP has a five-way selector switch. I'm not going to waste time playing the in-between settings in this video, so you can watch my dedicated video on this guitar if you'd like to hear the quackier single-coil, split-coil sort of tones. Apart from that, I've got the volume and tone controls on full the whole time, so they should be as similar as possible in terms of playing. And now I'm going to stop talking. Let's hear these two guitars in action, and afterwards I'll give you a few more of my opinions about this debate.
Okay then, so that was the Ibanez GRG121SP up against the Ibanez AS73FM Arc Core, and I hope you enjoyed the playing and the tones, and I hope you enjoyed trying to hear the differences and the similarities between the tones of the two guitars. And what I want you to do right now is to drop me a comment down there telling me which of the two you thought sounded better and why. Or maybe you couldn't decide between the two and you thought they sounded so similar that the difference in it was actually a moot point. Maybe what you also did was some Something that I also tried doing and that was closing my eyes while listening to the two guitars and doing it as sort of a blind test. I often found that during the blind test I couldn't really hear the difference between the two guitars at all and actually I was hearing quite a lot with my eyes and I felt like I was perceiving a much larger jump in tone when I watched the video switch between the two guitars instead of just hearing it. But maybe that's just me. Tell me your opinions and thoughts and I'm really interested to hear what you find people on the YouTube think about it. So let's go into a bit more detail about my thoughts then. Well, like I said before at the start of the video, I was incredibly surprised to see that Ibanez had put these classic elite humbuckers into two such different guitars. But at the end of the day, having heard them and having played both guitars up against one another and A-B'd them in the way that I have, well, you know what? Actually, these classic elite humbuckers are so versatile that they can cover pretty much any kind of ground. And I think that these two guitars do, in most circumstances, sound near as enough identical. There are tonal differences in the nuances of them, and there are some examples, particularly the cleaner tones, where I think you do get a bigger difference in tone. But the more you push up the gain and the more you up the compression levels as well, the more close they tend to sound. And I think that speaks volumes about these guitars. And it also suggests that with a guitar like this, you can do anything. And with a guitar like the GRG121SP, you can do pretty much everything as well. They're fabulously versatile instruments. And I know that looks are also super important important, but if you were blind to them, you could play a jazz gig or a metal gig with either one of these guitars and not bat an eyelid. Sure, if you show up at a metal gig with this guitar, people are going to look at you a bit funny, and I think if you showed up at a jazz gig with the GRG121SP, a couple of people might think, hmm, how is this going to work? But at the end of the day, what's important is how you sound, and you can achieve all of those tones with both of these guitars. At least that's my opinion anyway. Now, I decided to do a little bit more digging after I'd done the playing parts of this just to find out if the pickups really are genuinely identical. And they are indeed identical Classic Elite humbucking pickups, but they do have one small difference. Now I told you before the playing part that the five-way switch differentiates the Geo guitar from the Art Core guitar, and actually I checked on the Hoshino Gaki, that's the Ibanez brand owner's website, to see if I could find differences in the output of those pickups, to see if there were any differences, because obviously they would be different parts 
ordered by the company. And this is what I found. The impediences of the two sets of pickups are not identical. So on this guitar, on the AS73FM, the bridge pickup has an impedance of 10.85 ohms. The two pickups together have an impedance of 4.99, just under five. And on the neck pickup, you have an impedance of 9.24. Now, moving across to the Geo GRG 121 SP, on the bridge pickup of that guitar, you have an impedance of 12.57. So that's considerably hotter than the bridge pickup of the AS73FM. The fourth position, the split coil is 2.82. Then both pickups together, 5.55. The neck split coil just on its own, 4.98. And the neck humbucker, 9.75. So the neck pickups are very similar on both guitars, but the bridge pickup of the GRG121SP is a little bit hotter than that of the ArtCore guitar. And I don't think that you hear that too much. So we do have a slight difference in the hotness of the pickups. Like I said in the intro, the pots on all of the guitars are 500K. And another thing that could affect the pickups is the difference in the heights that they are away from the strings themselves. Well, I actually measured this on both guitars and on both neck pickups, they're about five millimeters away from the strings. And on both bridge pickups, they're about four and a half millimeters away from the strings. So that's not really something we can add into this equation either. If I was to describe the tonal differences that I hear between the two guitars, I think a lot of them have more to do with the way the guitars are physically built and also possibly to do with the other specifications of the instruments than they do with the impedance and the output of the pickups themselves. On the cleaner sounds and also on the crunchy sounds too, I felt that the AS73 just had a little bit more fullness and a little bit more body and low end to the tone than the GRG121SP. And I thought that the Geo guitar had a bit more top end and a little bit less of a fuller sound. I don't want to call it a thinner sound, but it didn't sound quite as fat as the AS73FM. As we went up to the harder rock and the metal though, those differences were almost not possible to hear, at least in my opinion. You may differ in your opinions on that, of course, but that's how I thought about it. And I feel that the specifications of the guitars are going to alter these things in some way as well. You know, this is physically a much bigger guitar with a semi-hollow body, so it's gonna sound bigger, isn't it? At least that's the thinking in my head. You know, it's a much chunkier beast overall. It's got a bigger neck, so there's more wood there, there's more wood in the body. That could add to more sustain, it could add to more overall fullness of sound. Are tone woods a thing? That's a whole nother debate for a different day of the week. But I'm really interested, like I said, to hear what you guys think about all of that. And of course, we've got a couple of other differences between the construction of the guitars that could be making a difference. All that wood, of course, all these different kinds of woods, but we've also got the difference in scale length and we've got the difference in hardware as well in terms of the bridges and the bridge tailpiece here. Are they making a difference? This is not a scientific video by any means. You need to watch someone like the Fantastic Mr. Jim Lil for that, but this is just what I've been hearing and what I'm kind of thinking out loud right now. Something else that I think is also worth mentioning is going to be the fact that you play these two guitars very differently too. Now with the AS73FM, this is a guitar that I have to play hard. To wring the best classic rock chords out of it, I really have to thrash this guitar. However, with the GRG121SP, that's a much smaller instrument. It's got a much sleeker, slimmer roasted maple neck, and I just find that that guitar I play a lot more softly and I have to give it a bit more love and care and not play it too hard. Guitars always have their own individual characters and they always want to be played a certain way and that's just the way that these two are. But again, perhaps that is doing something to shift my perceptions of the tonalities of them both. But overall, my opinion has to be that these two guitars, if you can't see them, they sound very, very similar indeed. And if you're looking for one guitar that can cover every bass from classic jazzy, warm, mellow sort of sounds, all the way through to hard rock and even metal, then both of these guitars are going to do a job. And the bigger question for you is gonna be which sort of body shape do you prefer playing? Which neck do you prefer? Which shape in terms of the neck profile? What kind of look aesthetically do you wanna have? Are you someone who wants to have have a big hollow body guitar strapped to you? Or do you want to have the big double cutaways of the GRG121SP? Do you want that sleek and sparkly all black look? Do you want to look like someone from a hard rock or metal band? A lot of it is down to looks and we do tend to hear a lot with our eyes. At least that's a conclusion that I've come to since making this video. Like I said, this was not a scientific debate in any way. This was just me sharing my opinions and findings with you guys. And maybe it'll instigate a bit of conversation 
about how pickups can give you similarities and differences when it comes to guitars, regardless of what the rest of the guitar is like. Like I said, leave me your comments, thoughts, and opinions down there. And if there's any other comparisons or questions about these two guitars that you have, feel free to watch the dedicated separate videos on both of them elsewhere on my channel, or drop me a question down there in the comments and I shall answer to the best of my ability. But that's been it for today's video. I've been Rich for Rich Words Music, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.